I just wanted to make this statement. Uh, I was watching CBS News tonight. It's the 24th of Christmas Eve. Uh, and they were talking about the Center for Disease Control. And one of the technicians may have uh, inadvertently let out the virus. or and They don't know for sure yet. And my <clears throat> question is, did it come back to where it originated, Ebola? Um, and that's about all I have to say because I started putting... Uh, on YouTube, along with a lot of other things, uh, I lived in Atlanta and wrote a book, a medical malpractice book, uh, unpublished because what was done to me back 76 to April through the day of 80. And um, it, con it was connected to the Center for Disease Control at Emory University. And uh, I was also writing about Larry McDonald, U.S. Congressman Doctor. And Warren and Rosina Matthew murders, who were forensic uh, pathologists at Piedmont Hospital, and um, oh, what's her name? Uh, Swokeman uh, was her last name on Christmas Eve. She was gunned down because uh, she was suing psychiatrists there, and she worked for psychiatrist Hardiman, which I knew by way of um, a friend of mine, Carol. Uh, ethical lady who lost her job, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, because she was friends of mine and trying to help me. So I'll leave it as that. Um, you know, I've put on here, and I didn't mean to go this far. I just meant to make a short because, quite frankly, my health is so bad from it all. I was kidnapped and brought to this country. I'm from London. I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace. And, um, brought to Moulton, Alabama, and I put all the photos of where I was taken. I just recently got them, the pigsty farm there, and um, a couple of pictures when I was growing up. Uh, so anyway, the whole thing has been that it was an illegal takedown of my father, Edward VIII, who was married to my mom, Claudia O'Keefe of Madison, Wisconsin, sister to artist Georgia O'Keefe. Uh, so my mother was a school teacher, and my father never married Wallace Simpson. She married a double, a lookalike, and my uncle George, Elizabeth's father, helped take down his own brother and kidnap me, Victoria the Second. And uh, the others that had been kidnapping were the Freemasons or the Illuminati, as you call them, uh, the Jews, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Bilderbergers, and Joe Kennedy, father to JFK. And um, I'll leave it as that. They were part of my kidnapping and 99 year seal that was put on it. But the whole point that I wanted to make also here, and I'll reiterate again, was that the whole thing was to remove my father, an honest man, and me, his daughter, and um, put so many lies. You can't believe the lies that were told in uh, the books written that are told lies. And Roosevelt appointed Kennedy, and he was he was part of the whole thing, President Roosevelt. But um, the point is that my own uncle George, who's illegal, signed illegal treaties allowing the United States. This is after my kidnapping in '41. Look at all the treaties are illegal. My father didn't sign them. I didn't sign them, and I am the legal heir. And Elizabeth has continued with it, and she's part of the people that kidnapped me. Her dad helped kidnap me. Uh, she's a member of the Illuminati, and so is the Clintons. And uh, they even have posts that you can't get in when they have meetings. It's so secret. So that tells you they're already in order and um, uh, in place, have been, and Obama is a member of it. That was put on YouTube, a speech that he has made that when they were closing the uh, government down. When was that last fall? Or I've forgotten now. But uh, that's why I want to say the whole thing was to take over everything British. And they pretty well did it. They hold the British um, hostage and made the monarch hostage. And the Americans have asserted their own monarch that worked in their behalf. That was George the Sixth and Elizabeth and her brood. Why do you think they skipped Charles over and they're promoting William and Kate and little George, named after the great, well, George VI who helped kidnap me and give away his country. 
So the whole point was also everything British belonged to the United States, and it's used as a launching pad to control the world, and it has. Part of that was in Africa, Rhodesia, et cetera, et cetera, the British colonies, and some of my relatives uh, from Denmark, uh, et cetera, Sweden, uh, Norway, uh, had uh, colonies there. So the whole thing was to take out Africa. It didn't matter how the United States did it in the New World Order. And uh, I'm just going to say this. I've said it again. And um, I'm not getting anything out of it except beaten and wondering where my sons are and hoping I get to go home and there's some way to repay the damage that's been done to my country, to Great Britain and to the Germans and to the handful of Americans that have tried to help me. So that's about it. The United States creates an illness and they go distribute it and then they go in like they're sending in to help Africa. How do you think AIDS started? And you don't have to take my word on that. Um, I've told the truth about all of this. You can go back and Google, and there's doctors, I don't have their name at the tip of my tongue, who have said where the Ebola virus started and was manufactured in labs right here in this country. And uh, that's part of the takedown of Great Britain, Africa, all of it.